Welcome to Human Endeavors. Today, we will be exploring the top 5 pandemics in human history in terms of deaths. This video will take you on a trip throughout history to witness 5 moments humanity's survival was challenged. A pandemic is an epidemic occurring on a scale that crosses international boundaries, usually affecting people on a worldwide scale. A disease or condition is not a pandemic merely because it is widespread or kills many people, it must also be infectious. For instance, cancer is responsible for many deaths but is not considered a pandemic because the disease is neither infectious nor contagious. This video will resonate to most people around the globe today, as populations worldwide are dealing with the current COVID-19 crisis and its consequences on social and economical activities. Let's start off this list at number 5 with the Antonine Plague, spanning from 165 AD to 180 AD, which caused 5 million deaths. Like the coronavirus, the Antonine Plague is believed to have originated in China. Roman soldiers marching to Rome from Mesopotamia in late 165 AD after the siege of Seleucia were ill, many covered in red and black papules that eventually would scab over and fall off. The plague would soon spread across the Roman Empire, also similar to the current pandemic. Not everyone who caught the virus which researchers believe was probably smallpox died, and those who survived became immune. However, by the time the plague was under control in 180 AD, it had killed millions of people and had practically wiped out Rome's 150,000-man military. It also claimed the life of famous Emperor Marcus Aurelius. The symptoms, described by famous Roman physician Galen, were unpleasant, diarrhea, coughing, fever, dry throat, and the aforementioned papules. One legend floating around during the time had it that the disease was released when a Roman soldier accidentally opened a golden casket in the Temple of Apollo, freeing the cursed plague from confinement. Either way, many were certain that they had done something to anger the gods, such as the sack of the ancient Mesopotamian city of Seleucia. Christians also were blamed for angering the gods. At number 4, we have the Justinian plague with around 25 million deaths, believed to have been brought over by rat-infested merchant ships sailing into Egypt. At one point the plague of Justinian, named after the ruling Byzantine emperor at the time, is said to have killed up to 100,000 people a day on average. Recently, these figures have been called into question, but researchers have said the bubonic plague also known as Yersinia pestis spread and continued to pop up from time to time in Europe, Asia, and Africa for years after its arrival in 541 AD, killing millions of people. Byzantine Greek scholar Procopius wrote of the plague's beginnings, it began with the Egyptians who live in Pelusium. It divided and part went to Alexandria and the rest of Egypt, and part to the people of Palestine, the neighbors of the Egyptians, and from there, overran the whole earth. The bubonic plague can be transferred from rats to humans through flea bites. Pus-filled buboes then grow on parts of the body generally in the armpit and groin area and a fever develops. Though the Black Death was caused by the same disease, researchers have determined that a different strain caused the Justinian plague. The plague dented Justinian's plans of recovering the lost provinces of the Roman Empire in the western part of the Mediterranean. After reconquering much of Italy, northern Africa and southern Iberia from the Ostrogoths, Vandals and Visigoths, respectively. The plague led to a decline in the power of the Eastern Roman Empire. That decline was confirmed with the emergence a century later of Islam and conquering most of the eastern provinces of the weakened empire. At number 3 we have a current ongoing pandemic in the shape of HIV with approximately 36 million deaths. Thought to have originated in the Congo, when the virus was transmitted from a chimpanzee to a human in 1920, HIV, the virus that causes acquired immunodeficiency syndrome generally known as AIDS, didn't begin to spread in America until the early 80s, though some research indicates it may have arrived in New York from Haiti as early as 1970. In 1981, gay men began being hospitalized for rare cancers and lung infections. Doctors didn't know how these rare diseases were cropping up, though they believed some condition must have been causing them. In 1982, Heroin users began getting these diseases as well, and that year they named the condition AIDS. HIV was isolated in a lab and identified in a French lab in 1983. The World Health Organization characterizes HIV or AIDS as a global epidemic, whereas the CDC describes it as a pandemic. According to UNAIDS, an estimated 36 million people are estimated to have died from AIDS-related causes, the peak occurring in 2005 with 2-3 million deaths. 
The worst area hit was Sub-Saharan Africa, where in 2005, an estimated 2. 7 million people became infected with HIV, and 2 million adults and children died of AIDS. In the years since, while antivirals and preventative medication PREP have helped to prevent transmission of the disease, the number in the United States has leveled off since 2013 with around 39,000 new HIV infections annually. In our second spot, we have the Spanish flu, or 1918 flu pandemic, lasting for more than 12 months, from spring 1918 to early summer 1919. It infected 500 million people, about a third of the world's population at the time. The death toll is estimated to have been anywhere from 17 million to 50 million, and possibly as high as 100 million, making it one of the deadliest pandemics in human history. Like the current coronavirus pandemic, there was no vaccine at the time. People were instructed to quarantine, maintain social distance, wash hands and sterilize, which was basically all they could do. Some U.S. cities, such as San Francisco, also passed ordinances forcing people to wear masks. To maintain morale, World War I censors minimized early reports of illness and mortality in Germany, the United Kingdom, France, and the United States. Newspapers were free to report the epidemic's effects in neutral Spain, such as the grave illness of King Alfonso XIII. These stories created a false impression of Spain as especially hard hit. This gave rise to the name Spanish flu. Historical and epidemiological data are inadequate to identify with certainty the pandemic's geographic origin, with varying views as to its location. Most influenza outbreaks disproportionately kill the very young and the very old with a higher survival rate for those in between. But the Spanish flu pandemic resulted in a higher-than-expected mortality rate for young adults. Scientists offer several possible explanations for the high mortality rate of the 1918 influenza pandemic. Some analyses have shown the virus to be particularly deadly because it triggers a cytokine storm. This ravages the stronger immune system of young adults. In contrast, a 2007 analysis of medical journals from the period of the pandemic found that the viral infection was no more aggressive than previous influenza strains. Instead, malnourishment, overcrowded medical camps and hospitals, along with poor hygiene, all exacerbated by the recent war, promoted bacterial superinfection. The 1918 Spanish flu was the first of two pandemics caused by home non-influenza virus. The second was the 2009 swine flu pandemic. The final spot on the list is the Black Death, also known as the Great Plague, with its death toll ranging from 50 million, others to 200 million or higher, which arguably makes it the most deadly pandemic in world history. Many scholars believe that, like COVID-19, the Black Death originated in Asia. It was spread by the movement of Botukhan's Golden Horde. During the Horde Siege of Kaffa, a major seaport on the Black Sea, the Mongols who were losing numbers rapidly to the disease catapulted bubo riddled bodies over the city walls. It spread to the fleeing populace, whose merchants then took it over the Black Sea. The nightmare began for Europe. One October day in 1347 as twelve ships from the Black Sea arrived in Sicily, porters greeting the ships found a grisly sight, a few ill sailors, their bodies ravaged with black, oozing buboes, standing on deck among their dead crewmates. Despite soon banishing the ships from the port, the damage already was done. From Sicily, the disease spread like wildfire, ravaging the European population until 1353. Symptoms included high fever, chills, vomiting and diarrhea. It also caused the aforementioned pus-filled buboes, as well as parts of the body such as nose, fingers, toes, to become black with gangrene. While it has long been maintained, that the Black Death was spread through fleas from rats. Many now believe it was spread through human fleas and body lice. Dr. Samuel Cohn, a medieval history professor at the University of Glasgow and author of The Black Death Transformed, was one of the original proponents of the theory that it was spread via human-to-human -human transmission. History's greatest pandemic is estimated to have killed 30% to 60% of Europe's population. In total, the plague may have reduced the world population from an estimated 475 million to 350 million in the 14th century. It took until the 1500s for the European population to regain the levels of the 1300s. That is it for the video. 
I hope you learned something new about the five worst pandemics the world has witnessed. We are all praying for the current pandemic of COVID-19 to never make the cut for this list in the future. This channel posts videos every single weekday so please subscribe if you want to learn more about human endeavors.